there are going to be many, many mortgage holders, many, many families uh, across the country who are now even more worried about paying their mortgage. That's on top of all the other bills. And, and they know that the government's failed now for 13 years. They know the government crashed the economy last year. And what I think most people want is a government that rolls up its sleeves, gets involved, doesn't say, well, it's nothing we can really do about it, um, and does as the Labour Party suggested, which is require lenders to take the steps, not rely on the mortgage holders to come forward, because I think many will be reluctant to do that, require the lenders to put in place proper measures to shield them or support them. So quite interesting what we've heard uh, from the Chancellor today, and I'm sure there will be uh, many people, including uh, probably uh, Martin Lewis, who also uh, met the Chancellor quite recently, the money-saving expert uh, guy, if you like. Um, he has suggested a uh, windfall tax on big banks. Um, the, the Labour Party have put forward uh, their own suggestions on what should be done to support people through this period. So it'll be interesting that how uh, those people react to what has been put forward by the Chancellor today. And, of course, pressure as well on the Prime Minister and the Chancellor from their own uh, benches. Lots of Conservative MPs grumbling about, uh, first of all, the Bank of England's role in all of this, saying that they haven't acted quickly enough, but also uh, pressure mounting to put in more support uh, for people going through financial difficulties and potentially facing repossessions. Of course, the context of all of this is the politics, a general election coming up and real concern, uh, particularly on the Conservative bench, is that this could cost them big when it comes to the next general election. The political challenge for the Chancellor and the Prime Minister, and that's what this meeting uh, was about today and the announcement that we've had subsequently, is to try to convince the public they've got this under control, they know what they're doing, and that these measures that have been announced do, uh, in the end, provide that safety net that people will desperately need over the coming months and years.